Rockstar, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special makeup transformation with the one, the only, <laughs> Chloe Morella. We actually met in New York like a couple days ago at the Marc Jacobs event. Thanks, Marc Beauty. Thank for, you, Marc, for bringing us for together. For bringing us together. Like, she's so funny, you guys. <laughs> you have no idea. She's so funny. We're both a little bit under the weather because of the snow, but nonetheless, mm. we are birthing this collab because I love her. Isn't she stunning? Let's, I got let's baked, hug. everyone. She got baked. She's <laughs> never baked. Ever so I was like let me give you like an LA Hollywood baking beat. She likes that and I, I love, it. love it You look gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial check her out her channel subscribe to her channel because we did the what's in my mouth <laughs> Challenge and I'm so excited for you guys to watch it. So if you guys want to see how I just look keep on watching I feel like I look like a Kardashian you do. Hey guys, so first things first, you want to consult with your client. So what I did was analyze Chloe's skin and it's the most important part before applying the makeup. You wanna see what they like, what their skin type is before just applying a lot of makeup and this creates trust between your client and of course she trusted me and that's what it's all about is just developing a relationship that way you can have a beautiful makeup application so um she is normal to dry since we just came from new york the cold 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 weather and i'm going to take total moisture by benefit cosmetics and also the eye cream and lather this on her face just to wake up the skin and prepare it for a full beat face and this is her. She is so funny, y'all. She is so funny. Um, so for the foundation, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation and apply this all over the skin. She preferred a yellow undertone foundation, which is what she told me. So that's what I went for. And we're going to make it work. And I love the formula of this because it creates a flawless finish. And it is very seamless. And it just glides on the skin, as you can see here but next i'm going to just blend out this concealer which is makeup forever's hd concealer this is an amazing concealer it's lightweight it's full coverage it reminds me of the urban decay concealer i prefer the urban decay applicator on myself but when applying on others i like this applicator it's more sterile and i'm just gonna blend this out in the highest points of the face using this morphe brush it's a very dense like tulip buffing brush and I love it. And this will just really seamlessly go into the skin. So next, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just beat her face and set everything immediately. I like to set the under eyes first, just so when she laughs, it don't crease. See, this is already crease proof. She was laughing because she's never cooked or baked her face before. So this was an interesting first experience for her. But next, I'm going to apply the Paint Pot painterly on her lids and snatch her brows with this concealer nc20 by mac this is an amazing concealer and we're just going to snatch the brows for a highlight effect and just buff it out with a fluffy brush of course by morphe next i'm going to take this sigma brush the e40 brush and this eyeshadow named fresh by anastasia beverly hills it's a great base eyeshadow next i'm going to take peach smoothie by makeup geek and with the same e40 brush one of my favorite brushes by sigma and and buff this in the crease you want to have trust in the brush just trust the brush get a good quality brush and you'll be set next i'm going to take coco bear by makeup peak and apply this lower into the socket and i'm not moving the brush i'm just sticking it in the socket and wiggling it back and forth not lifting at all just to create a smooth transition blend which is what you want next i'm going to take americano by makeup peak and stick this in a v shape in the crease using the m433 brush by morphe and this is an amazing color combination it's very romantic it's very warm she has a beautiful color um she has like a gray but it's it's just beautiful eyes just beautiful eyes overall and next i'm gonna take my favorite eyeshadow ever grandstand i feel like i've used this in the past like 20 bajillion videos but i just had to use it on her because it's one of my favorites and next i'm gonna take this winged liner i'm using the gel the inglot gel in the color number 77 it's just their black with an angle brush and take my time and don't be afraid to like put your thumb on their brow bone just to get 
into the lash line fully. These lashes are by Lily Galici, Lily Lashes in the style Miami, one of Kylie Jenner's favorite lashes. They're wispy, they're fun, they're huge. Chloe never gets to wear full glam in Australia, she told me, because they just don't do it over there, supposedly. But we're going to give her a beat face and bronze her up, give her some LA sun using the Tantric Bronzer by Marc Jacobs. It's a beautiful, warm color. And as you can see, it's bringing the face to life. Like, give me life. And I'm going to take this Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in the color Light with the same brush and just pat this. And don't feel like you have to use all these products. I'm simply showing you guys application but use whatever you want. I'm going to take the Captivating Blush by Tarte. It's a peachy blush. It's beautiful. And I'm going to highlight the face using Crushed Pearl with this tiny brush. Just highlighting the nose and Cupid's bow. And taking my Broken Becca Highlighting Palette with a fan brush and highlight using Champagne Pop all over her face. I love a glowy look. Um, it broke when I was traveling. I know, so sad. But I'm going to take this lip liner by MAC and just line her lips and use this amazing color. It is called Truffle by Dose of Colors. I love this so, so much. And Undressed Gloss by Anastasia. It's the perfect Valentine pout. I just love it. And then I'm going to take Extended Play Mascara and create a very lashy look. I love mascara. Mascara has been like one of my faves for this year. And then of course, snatch the brows. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you, Chloe, for coming on my channel. Thank you for having me. Do you like it? I love it. Was that an Australian accent attempt? Do you, do you like it? What? <laughs> Me and Manny love practicing our Aussie accents. <laughs> I'll train you guys. Yeah, she's gonna train us. I'll train you. Train us. And in the meantime, I'll try my American accent. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it. We hope you guys enjoyed this collab. Check out Chloe Morello on her YouTube page. Subscribe. Check out our What's in My Mouth challenge. I love you guys so much. Give us a thumbs up. Comment what you, you guys want to see next. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And subscribe. Bye. <laughs> he said subscribe <laughs> like five times. Thank you, Chloe. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye, you. Bye, everyone. Mwah. Mwah. This is like a family portrait. <laughs> Couples photo. Couples photo. I think my nipple just came out. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Chloe, you have to try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. This is failing. <laughs>